Hi, I'm Todd Macover, and it's now the middle of December, and I'm in the midst of this a Toronto Symphony project. Um, I've received all kinds of sounds and music and melodies and harmonies from many of you, and I'm spending a lot of time between now and early January listening to everything, pulling it all together, and turning it into the final composition. But we still have a little time left for you to participate. And uh, about a week ago, we launched a new application on the web called Media Scores. Uh, it's still available there at toronto.media.mit.edu to allow you to mix and shape your own version of the finale Toronto dances of this symphony. And now I want to show you a brand new app, uh, which is called Constellation. We launched it a few days ago. It's going to be up and running for a long time, but you'll be able to experiment with it between now and the beginning of January. Uh, so this is an app we made here at the MIT Media Lab, especially for the Toronto Symphony Project. Um, it was uh, designed and written by Akito von Troyer, who's uh, a PhD student here at the Media Lab. Akito, you want to say hi? Hello. There's Akito. Um, and I, I love this app. It's really, really interesting. So this one is a little different than everything we did before. What I've done is taken a lot of the music that I've composed and a lot of the sounds that you've sent in. Akito allows you to put those sounds up on the screen and you can mix them into your own collages and your own textures, your own pieces, just by experimenting with moving the mouse and combining these things. I'll show you how that works now and then I'd love it if you'd go out and experiment because a lot of your collages might very well become textures in the finished a Toronto Symphony, and they also might give all of us ideas about how to mix these different sounds. So there are a bunch of different things you can do. I'll just show you a little bit right now. Um, when you go into Constellation, again, you can find that toronto.media.mit.edu, um, there are three different kinds of sounds you can play with right now. One are samples, sounds from around the city, chords, the main chords of the piece, and launch music, which is an instrumental performance of the main materials of the piece that we've mixed up, mashed up, that you can make your own version of. So let's look at the samples first. Each of these little dots is one sound. Akito software takes masses of sound, analyzes them, and uh, breaks them up into little bits automatically, and it organizes them according to different principles. So now it's taken the quality of sound of all of these Toronto sounds and organized them by which ones are most similar. So if I drag my mouse around, you not only hear different sounds, but different parts of the city. So as you explore this, you can try to imagine which sounds are where. Sometime in January, we'll actually post who sent in which sounds and where they're from. But for now, it's kind of fun to guess. So um, I can move my mouse around to explore. I also have five different ways that Akito's analysis has organized these sounds. So as I mentioned, right now, they're organized according to the uh, quality of sound, this is an organization according to the loudness, actually the way they change over time. This one's interesting, the, the blue period for Toronto sounds. This one organizes all the sound depending on how loud they are. And actually, because they're kind of similar loudness, they're all kind of blue. And what's nice about this one is that it mixes up different kind of sounds. It's almost as if we took the city and scrambled it uh, so I can get to sounds that are very different right next to each other. So um, what I'm actually going to do is I'll play with this just for a second. And I'm actually going to record it. This is how you can make a piece out of this. I go up here. Um, if I just want to explore, I go to the arrow. But if I want to record, I go to what's called the draw tool. I click on it. And now as I drag, you'll see it makes a line everywhere I go. So I'm going to spend a few seconds and just explore and make a little composition. That's my Toronto mix for the moment. One thing you might have uh, noticed, if you noticed, you're very clever, but uh, if, it went by pretty quickly. But if I move the mouse very, very slowly, 
I can hone in on just one sound. So if I want to find each individual sound, I move slowly and one pops up. The faster I move, the more different sounds open up. So if I move quite fast, I might get 30, 40, 50 sounds at once. So you can control that very well. Now once I've uh, made this little composition, shown by the lines, um, I go over here where it says upload my score. Um, and it, it asks me to uh, sign my masterpiece. So I'm just going to call it Todd for right now. It says add my name. I've done it. I say I want to upload. And uh, now it's going to pull it back in. But it's actually recorded that piece. And the piece is avail available for me to listen to. And also it's available for anybody in our community to listen to and actually to remix if you want to. So you can play with anybody else's piece. And now if I go down here, I actually have a recording of my piece. And um, I'll play it back just a little bit. And you'll see it'll trace all the lines I just drew. And it's a new kind of score. Here you go. So as you can see, uh, that only captures a very small part of the sounds that are in there. Uh, I invite you to come explore all the sounds, explore the five different versions of ways you can look at them, and make your own piece. Let me just show you two other kinds of sounds you can play with with Constellation. The second one, if I go to this little menu, is called Chords. And this contains all the main chord progressions, kind of like the harmonic backbone skeleton of this piece. All these chords were recorded by the Toronto Symphony Youth Orchestra in a session we did at Toronto Culture Days in October. Again, uh, Akito's system in Constellation has analyzed them and put them into these kind of strings, like funny little scores. Um, so I can go through the, the chords in order, listen to one at a time. Each line is those same chords played in a different way. Strange sound, delicate, louder. And building up and going down. So in this case, I can make a different kind of harmonic piece, decide the kind of story that's told with these chords by using the mouse. And uh, I won't make another piece, but I'll show you. So that's another one that's fun to play with. I'd love to hear your version of which chords sound nice together. And I'll show you one last, which is a bit of music called launch music. It's kind of the first finished little part of the composition that I wrote back in June when we launched the project. Musicians from the Toronto Symphony Orchestra joined with me at the Idea City Conference in Toronto to perform this piece. And it, you can find it online to give everyone an idea of some of the core music for the piece. We fed that entire performance of about six minutes into Akito's constellation system, and it broke it up into little fragments. So now you have core music for the piece available as little beads that you can string together any way you want. It's quite various. So um, I'll just give you a little idea of what this is like. And uh, personally, this is my favorite of these to explore. So here's a little bit of what you can do with this.
all I can say is every once in a while, you come up with kind of a fragment of music and a way of playing with it that's kind of addictive. My own feeling is this Constellation app is, is one of those instances. I think it's really fun to play with, and we'd love it if you'd give it a try. So the app can be found in most browsers, toronto.media.mit.edu. It's called Constellation. All kinds of ways to play with it, different sounds, make your own version, send it to the community, remix other people's music. And uh, between now and early January, be part of shaping this composition, uh, a Toronto symphony. We're going to send out one more application uh, on Christmas Eve, actually, a little Christmas present, which you can play with during Christmas week through the new year. And that's going to be, a, we're finishing it now. It's a kind of combination of media scores and constellation. Um, it'll be a surprise next week. Play with this in the meantime. Thanks a million and see you soon.